Hey everyone, everyone's favorite collector here, Lloyd, uh, coming to you with this week's news. As you see on the video, uh, I had a pretty good week. I scored uh, a bunch of treasure hunts, 59 wagon, a few supers, and uh, a couple of the regulars with the super paint. A Spectre Flame on them also, so keep eye out for those right there because it, it looks like a super, but it doesn't have the wheels on the on the car, of course, and the packaging is not the right, but it sure has the Spectre Flame paint on them, as you can see in the video. Uh, and uh, keep an eye out at grocery stores. That's where I found all these at. It was at the good old Save Mart store. So that's the tip of this week for you guys to find the grocery stores and hit it hard and hit it good, of course. So that's about all I gotta really say this week is it's been kind of slow after Christmas and the, this grocery store has been the best bet, bet so far. So uh, look, guys, keep looking. Hey, so uh, I want to ask you about a couple of nicknames. We some people have heard them on here. You know, we've heard the Flea and we've heard Batman. So uh, what can you tell us about? Let's start with the Batman. Who's Batman? Batman's a gentleman uh, down in the Visalia Tulare area, and uh, he is in the Batman so so much that he's actually has his own website he dresses up full-blown costume and he has a, a tumbler he made a miniature tumbler he made and he, he does all these kids birthday parties and events whoever wants to hire him or whatever but I mean he full-on dresses as Batman he, and he thinks he's Batman and it's kind of fun but you know we, we kind of we kind of joke about him a little bit there but that's that's the story on batman you know by sell your area good guy nice guy i don't know about his wife his wife i don't know if she's bat girl or not but i think she wears the pants in the family so another one i said was the flea what can you tell us about the flea well the flea's another gentleman he works for for, for works for a, a, a bread company and uh, God, you know he was always in the morning. He was beating me in the store. Was in the morning, and, and and I don't know how he was doing it, or whatever. But he was getting in the store somehow a few minutes earlier. And for months, I never found anything. And, and then I finally found him at the rack. And for quite a while, I couldn't I couldn't shake him. Everywhere, everywhere I turned around, he was right there. So I, I nicknamed him the Flea. You know, it's something like you can't get rid of. You know, he's always on always on your shoulder or something. I couldn't brush him off. But he's a good guy. He, he really is. And, we do a lot of horse trading back and forth, and, but he just got the nickname the Flea now. One we haven't uh, heard about in the videos yet, but you know, when collectors around town, the name that uh, pops up all the time is Dumb and Dumber. What about those guys? Oh, Dumb and Dumber. Dumb and Dumber, actually, the two guys, they're just buddies, whatever, and uh, they show up at the Walmart all the time here in the uh, Fresno area, Clovis area, and. Uh, Actually, one of the door vendors who work at Walmart, they, he nicknamed them Dumb and Dumber. Uh, first of all, they kind of walk in kind of Dumb and Dumber looking like that a little bit. Plus, they actually look, look, look like the kind of characters of Dumb and Dumber in the, in the movie Dumb and Dumber. So anyway, everybody thinks I nicknamed them that, that name, but actually it was a Walmart employee who's actually nicknamed Dumb and Dumber. And uh, if you, see, you saw them around town, you know who they are. So yeah, but like I said, Pretty cool guys, you know, uh, uh, but just got that nickname. One I know he's not going to be happy about this, but what about Peacock? Oh, well, that, that that's kind of a sore subject there because uh, Peacock, he's a he's a good uh, good collector, good good friend of mine. I know very well, and uh, one of the other collectors, I don't know how they got the nickname of Peacock or whatever, but he boy sure doesn't like it very much. So we don't really call him Peacock. Uh, around him because he doesn't like it. Uh, his nickname actually is Tex. Uh, now they call him Tex because he's a big Texas fan, you know. But uh, so so we don't say the peacock word around him because he, he gets kind of crazy about it. So we'll leave it at that. And I want to touch bases on you guys on the rocket oil car that we ordered uh, God well, five or six months ago through the Red Line Club. 
I see on post like a lot of you guys have been getting a rocket oil, and I haven't sev haven't received mine yet. And the sad part is I ordered for a friend of mine, and hopefully it's going to show up. But the notice I noticed one thing is I go back on my my past history of my orders, whatever the orders doesn't show up anything past September. I can't go back any further to to view it. All of a sudden it's gone on my summary slip on Redline Club. So I'm just kind of wondering if all you guys got your rocket oil club or car or if Mattel's dropped the ball again. I hate to kind of rip on them again, but uh, you know, I've not been real disappointed with them the last four or five months. So anyway, just to gripe a little bit. And I want to touch one more basis on the our big Christmas giveaway. We have uh, till Wednesday to hear back from our winner uh, to give us the information, her mailing address and so forth. So if she doesn't respond by Wednesday, then we're going to pull another name out of, out of their hat of uh, everyone who, who's entered that drawing. So keep in touch, and uh, we'll be posting what goes on from there on. But like I said, if she doesn't do by Wednesday midnight, then we'll draw, draw a new name. And, and uh, hopefully she's been watching the channel knowing that she won, and we, we, sent her the, we sent her a message that she won. So let's see what happens.